Hi, I'm Cassie Pekarski, and this is Museum Minute. 75 years ago, Truman's popularity was at an all-time low, but he entered the 1948 election campaign with confidence and the odds against him. His campaign was broke, his civil rights stance had split the Democratic Party in half, and very few people thought he could win, including the pollsters. In fact, many polls stopped counting weeks before the election. In his hometown, the Staley Milling Company produced chicken feed sacks in Democratic and Republican bags. 54% of the bags sold were Democratic, an eerily accurate prediction of what would eventually unfold. But back to Truman's strategy. In the last political election where television did not play a role, Truman spoke directly to audiences from the back of the Ferdinand Magellan. He crisscrossed the country three times on the presidential rail car, speaking directly to growing audiences from Midwest farms to the streets of Harlem about the do-nothing 80th Republican Congress and their aggressive policies. On election night, the Secret Service woke Truman at 4 a.m. He had won the election. The agents weren't the only ones surprised. The victory amazed the public and the press, too. Not only had Truman won the election, but the Democrats had reclaimed both houses of Congress. An NBC political commentator used this microphone to mistakenly call the election for Republican candidate Thomas Dewey, later giving it to Truman as a memento. Truman's win over Dewey was one of the greatest upsets in political history and one of the most iconic photographs. Visit the Truman Library to learn more about the 48 election. Until then, stay true.